So you beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. Today has been quite a busy day for Call of Duty when it comes to the socials like Twitter and stuff. And there have been a lot of pros, ex-pros, who have come out and been very vocal in terms of the CDL and the ranked start style of Call of Duty that <laughs> is lacking at the moment. There are lots of people who are casual players that definitely enjoy the ranked style of Call of Duty. Uh, there are arguably those of you who believe that these kind of people and the esports kind of uh, agenda has kind of ruined Call of Duty. But I would argue that the problem has always been the skill based matchmaking and less about the hardcore players. Nature, Scump, Crim6, uh, Hex, you name it, household names have come out today and called Activision out. And for me, these are some of the most influential Call of Duty players of all time. If you haven't heard of any of these, I'd be very surprised. I know I'm one of the people that has great respect for people like Scump and Nature because they've kind of paved the way for a lot of Call of Duty YouTubers uh, per se because they made Call of Duty and YouTube very cool. Pump pub stomping they were some of the first people that i used to watch and even in the rank playlist when it came to black ops 2 nade shot came out on his twitter today and said this remember that he's heavily involved in the 100 thieves uh, esports team that he wants to get involved in call of duty which originally decided not to do and he tweeted this we literally went from players fighting for their pride and respect every single weekend through 256 to 512 team brackets for one thousand bucks each in front of a hundred thousand people to no competition or tournaments until three months after the game has been released wake up activision call of duty arguably has the most entertaining outspoken and personable players out of any esports community storylines and rivalries that literally span across a decade vanguard releases and the league says you're not allowed to compete and stream until together until february I went to our board of directors pleading for us to get back into competitive Call of Duty. I said, let's spend the money. Let's give our community what they're asking for. Just trust me and I'll make sure LA Thieves is a success. Two years later, I guess I'm the fool. Now, <laughs> it, it is quite heartbreaking to see how much he's put into this because one thing I can say about nature is he is definitely very passionate about Call of Duty, very passionate about gaming and somebody that does seem like he wants to give back to the very community that made him essentially what he is to today, which is a bona fide millionaire playing golf all the time. How jealous am I? <laughs> but he has dedicated a lot. And, and listen, it, it costs something like 25 million, I believe, for these franchises to get involved in Call of Duty. And with these players coming out, a lot of them are going to face fines just for simple little tweets like this. But I, I guess they're just like us now. They've all had enough of the current state of Call of Duty. And down in the comment section, you tell me, do you believe that you've seen Call of Duty in a worse state, genuinely a worse state than it is in currently? Because I know there's those of us who trash the game year upon year or find fault with something in the game year upon year. And there have been a lot of games that deserved criticism. But have we genuinely seen Call of Duty in such a bad state where everybody seems to be singing in unison because I genuinely can't remember a time where I've seen things like this. Scump also came out and tweeted today saying competitive card is down bad and this makes me very sad. There's going to be those of you who believe that this is a good thing for Call of Duty because you believe competitive Call of Duty and esports ruin Call of Duty. And to a degree, I do get what you guys are trying to say. However, I believe it's Activision's, Activision's reaction to esports and the implementation of skill-based matchmaking, which is what has caused the problem. Ultimately, the hardcore player and I'm not talking about the hardcore mode, I mean the hardcore player, the player that spends hours upon hours, only makes up for a small portion of the Call of Duty community. So I don't ever believe that you're constantly going to be in lobbies that feel like you're in an esports lobby unless skill-based 
skill based matchmaking forces you to be in that. Now, aside from these guys getting fines left, right, and center, it's very good that these guys are doing this, in my opinion, because they all have big followings. Let's make no mistake about, mistake about this. They, they say that the hardcore player, the, the player that isn't such a casual, the players that are on Twitter, on YouTube, only make for a small percentage of the community. But right now, the numbers that are playing Vanguard I'd argue that these definitely outweigh those particular people or were just the fans that are waiting in the shadows for a decent Call of Duty. Like when Modern Warfare 2019 came out, we heard that title. And yes, the numbers, they 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 went very, very high with that game and it was very popular upon its release. But I believe that was because a lot of us just hoped that we would get something similar to the glory days when they'd shot, when Scump were out there playing ranked on Black Ops 2 on YouTube, hub stomping and showing us just all a good time. Those were the classic times for me with Call of Duty, when Call of Duty players could actually talk trash to each other and there weren't no fines for it. Everything seems a, a bit sterile now. And for me, it, it makes total sense that these guys are coming out because there are those of us, even though it may be a niche group, that wanted rank play. We had David Vanderhaar kind of reply to, um, I think it was Nature, I can't remember if it exactly, or, or it could have been Scump. Uh, and it, it, he insinuated his tweet, insinuated there was going to be a rank playlist and it would be soon. And still we're here, never mind a rank playlist or CDL getting looked after. We can't get currently get bugs uh, and, and camo challenges fixed properly because the ter the, 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 they're working off all the, the turkey and excess food and alcohol that they had over the holiday period uh, after they've kind of con congratulated themselves for making a really, really bad product. So Call of Duty is up in arms and it looks like Activision is under immense pressure more and more and more and yes i know those guys you who are seasoned in this are gonna say but tracky we've heard this all before it's the same old same old i genuinely don't think it is the same old same old i think we're at a tipping point with call of duty now where they've either got to act upon not necessarily what's going on with the cdl because that is still a drop in the ocean when it comes to people like you and me the casual but overall numbers are down and I definitely believe that they've got to make some sort of change to get player numbers back up and retain those player numbers. And I think what they're going to try and do personally is bring Modern Warfare 2 and try the same tactic that they did with Modern Warfare 2019. But if that game is any way, shape or form developed by Joel Seacott in the same mannerisms that he did with Modern Warfare 2019, I bet there are many people that won't be biting that carrot again. Down in the comment section, let me know your thoughts and feelings on today's video. Guys, there are many buttons you could hit, but I like a subscribe button. I hope they took your fancy. And as always, guys, don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.